folks, it's time to take a look at the Piclopedia from Pikmin 2. So buckle in for a hefty helping of lore between Olimar and Louis' notes. Now, let's begin. Lapis Lazuli Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family No matter what color Pikmin is tossed into the bosom of this flower, it spits out the same number of blue Pikmin. This family of plant boasts soft, fleshy leaves, the sinewy tendrils of which allow the flower to open and close repeatedly over the course of a day. This flower's tough texture makes it unsuitable for salads, but its bright blue hue makes for a grandiose garnish. Crimson Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family No matter what color pigment is tossed into the bosom of this flower, it spits out the same number of red pigment seeds. The pigment, the candy pop flowers, and the pigment onions are not easily explained by current theories of the xenobotanical sciences, and thus have not yet been appropriately studied and classified. This spicy flower combusts upon contact with the tongue. Keep fire retardant condiments within arm's reach. Golden Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family No matter what color pigment is tossed into the bosom of this flower, it spits out the same number of yellow pigment seeds. Current research has yet to produce any theories as to precisely what kind of interaction causes the pigment to change color to match the color of this flower's petals. This tart flower's acidic juices can burn a hole through a frying pan. Eating it would be unwise. Violet Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family Research from our most recent expedition has confirmed the presence of candy pop buds in subterranean regions. Considering the microecologies this plant has been found in, one could surmise that it could be found in any cavern, regardless of geographic region. Tossing pigment into this flower results in the release of purple pigment seeds, regardless of the color of pigment tossed in. This variety of candy pop contains robustly odoriferous oils. If candy pop flowers could be cultivated, there is no doubt that the plants would offer multifaceted benefits to the cosmetic, medical, and tourist industries. This convenient purple flower secretes a dark, flavorful oil that eliminates the need for salad dressing. Ivory Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family Research from our most recent expedition has confirmed the presence of candy pop buds in subterranean regions. Considering the microecologies this plant has been found in, one could surmise that it could be found in any cavern, regardless of geographic regions. Tossing pigment into this flower always produces white pigment seeds, regardless of the color of pigment tossed in. In many cases, plants with small leaves typically have limited photosynthetic capabilities, and thus must find alternate means of obtaining nutrients, with parasitic and predatory behavior being most common. The candy pop could be considered one such example. This elusive flower spoils within seconds of picking, making it unsuitable for cooking. Queen Candy Pop Bud Candy Pop Family This specimen constantly changes colors. When pigment are thrown into it, it shoots out seeds that match the flower's coloration the moment the pigment landed inside of it. The number of seeds shot out is always greater than the number of pigment thrown in. It can be said that this is a completely baffling plant, and many mysteries remain over precisely what sort of relationship it has with the pigment. It would appear that the pigment gain all of the benefit from the relationship. Perhaps it is simply a different variety of pigment to begin with. Eating this flower leads to spectacular, breathtaking indigestion. Creeping Chrysanthemum Chrysanthemum family Like Pigmen, the creeping chrysanthemum is a member of a group of creatures with ambulatory root structures. This creature is known as a mimic, but because it is actually a form of plant, this label is not entirely accurate. For unknown reasons, the creeping chrysanthemum's mimicry does not fool Pigmen, perhaps because they share a similar heritage. It relies on preying upon other creatures to provide sustenance, so it has no need of leaves for photosynthesis. Generally speaking, the role of plants within an ecosystem is as a producer species, and thus plants are generally found at the bottom of the food pyramid. However, on this strange planet, the line between producer plants and consumer plants is blurred. When thinly sliced, this predator's sizable bulb makes a sumptuous pizza topping. Skitterleaf Skitterling family The skitterleaf is a relative of the pond skater that shed its wings and adapted to life on the ground. With no residual traits of its airborne past, the skitter leaf can neither fly nor skid across the surface of the water. The wings have since evolved into the leaf-like structure on its back, which serves to hide the skitter leaf through mimicry. It appears quite effective, as few predators can see through this clever disguise. The superb amalgamation of juicy meat and leafy greens ensures that the skitter leaf will be the new spinach. Mamuda, Unknown family The imbalanced, asymmetrical arms of the mamuda are among its most notable features. Feeding on seeds and fruit, the mamuda is known to actually sow and grow plant species, 
while other species have exhibited seed-bearing behavior for the purpose of storage, the Mamuda is the only species so far known to actually cultivate fields of plants. Inedible. Tastes like chicken. Breadbug. Breadbug family. The adult breadbug competes for many of the same food sources as Pikmin, but its thick-skinned hide allows it to withstand most Pikmin group attacks. However, some researchers claim to have observed breadbugs being overwhelmed by massive numbers of Pikmin and reduced to food. Breadbugs are hardy and nutritious, but also bland and unimaginative. They may be palatable in a pinch, but they hold no true culinary promise. Pellet Posey Pellet Weed Family In the stem of the Pellet Posey, one can observe the muscle fiber unique to half-plant, half-animal species such as the Pikmin and Candy Pop flowers, so the Pellet Posey is a species that could be considered a close relative. Although the ability to crystallize nectar is unique to a small group of the pellet weed family, the fact that these plants reach maturity so quickly and that their pellets contain such high concentrations of natural nutrients in the soil explains why the Pikmin and so many of the other indigenous species are so reliant on these pellets for sustenance. On a quest for the perfect hors d'oeuvre, slow cook this plant in a wood fire oven, but be careful to only serve the tender pellet. Common glow cap. Glowcap family. The light emitted from this rare mushroom is neither a reflection nor a release of stored light. It grows not only on decomposing trees, but also on soil and rocks. This mushroom's fungal filaments are capable of stabilizing and concentrating pure Ocatadium 111. It is not other than the Ocatadium 111 approaching the point of critical mass that causes the glowcap's blue luminescence. Rapture is fresh or sautéed. This illuminating fungus will be hot in the galaxy's trendiest restaurants. Clover. Clover family. This is a naturalized species. These plants are extremely persistent, and with the assistance of a symbiotic fungus that grows on its roots, the species is able to survive even in drought conditions. Typically, its leaves come in groupings of three, but intense impact on the leafing stem early in the development cycle can result in an extremely rare four-leaf cluster. Mildly poisonous. May result in nausea, headache, fever, fatigue, chest pains, paralysis, loss of bone density, moodiness, feral rage, sauciness, dilly dallion, strokes of brilliance, and untimely doom. Figward. Figward family. This plant offers an excellent example of a non native species introduced into the ecosystem by some unknown method. Upon introduction, it quickly established a foothold and adapted to the new habitat. This plant's distinct flowers usually exhibit a stunning blue color in early spring, but recent field work has recorded specimens displaying a deep red hue. Although this may represent a sudden deviation in genetics of the species, the red coloration is much more likely an anomaly. Additional readings suggest no significant atmospheric or solar radiation changes have occurred in the ecosystem, leaving open the possibility that soil composition and mineral deposits may have affected petal coloration. This titillating ingredient tastes impossibly fresh, but you must cook it immediately after picking. If you don't, it'll go bad within minutes. Dandelion Dandelion family This perennial grows best in locations with full sun exposure. Its flowers boast countless tiny yellow petals packed together in a head. The species seems to have as many weed-like variants as petals, so more detailed research on these plants would best be left to a botanical research specialist. Young leaves are only suitable in garden salads. Use the flower to add color to your dishes. Seeding Dandelion Dandelion family It is believed that this plant produces tuft seeds with a parachute-like arm, which allows the seeds to ride gently on the wind. This increases the distribution range of the plant considerably. Dried, roasted, and finely ground, the root of this plant makes a passable coffee substitute. Or stale Or stale family this variety of horsetail is prevalent in regions with low nutrient content in the soil. Unlike most other plants, this particular species propagates itself through the release of spores. Remove and discard the primitive scaly leaves, then blanch the tender stalk in a buttery broth. Foxtail Foxtail family This plant remains erect after withering and losing its color, so we can only hypothesize about the true color of the plant's plumage. However, local soil analysis indicates trace amounts of dormant seeds, making it not hard to imagine that the area was thick with these plants in the summer. Inedible. Plagues victims with potent, debilitating cramps. Glow stem. Glow cap family. Although they are obviously unrelated, the glow stem bears a striking resemblance to the street lights on Hokadate. It is highly possible that glow stems could be a relic of some unknown civilization beyond the scope of our imagination. Inedible. Known effects include uncontrollable episodes of impromptu breakdancing. Margaret. 
roots of the Mum family. These plants' delicate yellow flowers often inspire waves of nostalgia, giving a bittersweet feeling to anyone who gaze upon them. Can't be eaten fresh out of the soil, but it's much more flavorful when incorporated into a heavenly veggie lasagna. Vinland, Fern family. At first glance, this plant resembles the spring used in the ship's sublight engine. Many of its most primitive characteristics remain intact, including its habit of spreading through the dispersal of spores. Sun dry the leaves for several days, then grind them with a mortar and pestle. The resulting herb grants an aromatic, earthy flavor to mutton and poultry dishes. Shoot. Unknown family. This is a young shoot of some kind, but what kind of tree species does it belong to? What shape will it take when it matures and grows to full height? Unfortunately, we are only able to obtain information from our portable scanners on a select few of the countless number of species we have encountered. But even if our expedition yields only brief observations on the life we encounter, it will still provide a better understanding of this bizarre planet. Inedible, and yet strangely delicious.